five minutes. Um, how proud are you of the way you guys responded on the second half of a back-to-back? Uh, incredibly proud, you know, especially for a regular season matchup against, um, you know, a team that's positioned very well in the Eastern Conference and has been playing well uh, as of late. So I think it was a great test um, just, to be out, just to be able to go out there and see where we were. You know, a few guys out. Um, we got a welcome home uh, type of performance from LaMarcus tonight in terms of start and, and for DJ. Uh, but I think we show our depth tonight as well, just being able to fill in guys and, and guys playing extremely hard. We had that effort, so to match. You, you mentioned LaMarcus. I know you guys all have a high basketball IQ. You know the right way to play, understand the game. Uh, he hasn't been out there for a month. Um, what, what impressed you about what he showed tonight? Uh, I think what's always impressed me about L.A. Is, is just his poise and being able to be a big body um, and just have, uh, you know, that type of IQ where you have a big where you could throw it down to to slow the game down um, and, and able to make good decisions. You know, he, he's always been um, a threat down there in the post. And, and uh, you know, I think he's missed posting up. <laughs> so when we're throwing it down to them and, and teams are switching, it, it gives us uh, great opportunities to, you know, swing the basketball, but also go through L.A., um, which slows the game down tremendously, like I said. And, and, and we're able to pick apart the defense like that as well, instead of just coming off pick and roll and just getting downhill, we're able to just throw it to him. So. Greg Logan, Tuesday. Uh, Kyrie, to follow up on that, there was a, a stretch in the second quarter where he either scored or assisted on 15 straight Nets points. That kind of supports what you're saying about his uh, intelligence uh, and, and throwing it out of the post to open shooters. How exciting is it to think about the potential of this team with a, a weapon like that when you get everybody back healthy? Well, shoot, I... I... I'd rather not think about it. I'd rather just <laughs> go out there and have everybody out there playing. But, um, you know, in due time, all remaining patient. We all want to be healthy, uh, you know, for when we make that that big run uh, after May 16th. Uh, so, you know, we just use this time to um, kind of throw bodies out there that, that, uh, that we've newly acquired. Um, and we just see how we fit. <laughs> you know, really, a game to game, it, it depends on who's playing, who's in. Um, and, and the most flexible teams in the league uh, are usually the most successful at this point because you're able to just throw guys out there and, and still, uh, you know, have a, a certain standard that you want to play at. So I think we're exemplifying that every game of just filling in and just playing hard and making the right plays, you know, playing for one another. So it feels good for sure. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Uh Kyrie, in that kind of vein of getting everybody back, um, Markeith Morris said yesterday that for him, he's trying to think about the injuries that they're experiencing as it's just going to make for a better ending once we get everybody back. I know you guys are a different team, but is there any part of that glass half empty mentality or glass half full mentality you can relate to? It's going to come down to who who survives this, uh, you know, this this long journey that we have going on. Um, you know, who's going to be the most healthy uh, towards the, you know, the latter end of this journey if you're blessed enough to make it there. You know, so we we understand we have to earn our our way uh, to the main stage. Um, we don't want to take any day for granted, and we definitely don't want to rush anybody back uh, just to be able to fill in a regular season void or anything like that. Um, we just want everybody to be at the top of their game as healthy and going against the best of the best. That's what we're focused on here. So. Whoever we play at any point, we're just trying to, you know, just be there for one another, even when guys aren't in the lineup. You know, like I said, it's, it's crazy. It's a crazy season. It's a crazy season. So we're just adjusting. Yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Kerry, would you like about you guys' defensive performance tonight? I think it was 11 points held until in the first quarter. I think 17 in the third. Just what would you like about that? Uh, we, we should have more games like that, honestly, where we're, we're the dominant team in the first quarter um, instead of playing from behind. But, you know, the flows of the game could change. Um, not every team is going to come in and, um, you know, be held to a certain percentage in the first quarter like that by us. But we, we definitely uh, made an imprint on that end tonight, uh, for sure. As soon as they came out the gate, uh, we were very aggressive um, on just staying physical with them and um, sticking to our principles in, in, uh, in terms of the game plan we put forth. 
So we had a good game plan during shoot around. Um, you know, just wanted to make it tough. Like I said earlier, they've been playing extremely well. So we wanted to jump on them first before they got to us. Brian Mahoney with the Associated Press. Hey, Kyrie, from the from the mental aspect of the game, you know, do teams need stuff like this uh, where you get a, a new piece in like Marcus or you get a you know, Landry back just to kind of, you know, make each game feel different where you have something new to be excited about that maybe you didn't have yesterday? Uh, I don't know if I could frame it that way <laughs> like you did, but uh, I think the way I feel – uh, you know, just about the collective or excuse me, the collective group of guys that we have here. It's just we could throw anybody out there <laughs> and we can show our depth. And, and uh, you know, we just find a way to you know, collectively come together and, and make something happen. You know, it's not going to look pretty every night. I said that in the beginning of the season. I'm going to continue. It's not going to look perfect. Um, but we continue to play. And when, when you're able to rely on the defensive end um, as a foundation, and um, you're able to do the little things that really create separation in the basketball game, and you're able to do it consistently, then you get to go on runs like I, I think we are on right now. Um, so, you know, it, it and it's never going to be perfect. So we just got to be ready to uh, go out there and play. Last question, Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Kyrie. Uh, Kevin spoke earlier uh, about his vision for this team. And he said it was less about building a championship roster and more so about building a championship culture. Um, can, can you kind of describe, I feel like number one, culture has kind of become a buzzword. Everybody uses it, but the, the meaning behind it could change from organization to organization. Can you kind of describe what it is that you guys have tried to build here and what steps it is that you guys have taken to build that culture that's building now? Uh, well, I appreciate that question because that, I don't know if everyone could have saw this vision a year ago or two years ago, you know, or, or just when, uh, you know, kind of this was the, uh, it was a birth of an idea of, of, you know, what a place would look like um, with some guys in our league uh, that we've played against, uh, that, you know, guys in our league, we've played against each other for so long. And then now we're in one place. Uh, it's, it's unreal at times, a little surreal because we, we've all accomplished so much individually um, but when we were looking at this thing, it, it was just a blank canvas. You know, we, we saw that Brooklyn already had something great going for a certain amount of years. And, uh, you know, I've always been an incredible supporter and fan of, of the New Jersey Nets, the Brooklyn Nets. Um, and when you talk about things that are uncomfortable, things that happen throughout, that you just got to be able to be uh, resilient and you got to persevere. So, we take care of what we have going on here um, in the locker room and we build our culture and then it'll define itself based on what we do as um, as players and as a team successfully. So, Thanks so much, Kyrie. Yep. Appreciate you guys. You guys get home safe. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Kyrie. Take care.